Hello, hello. Thank you for pressing that play button. This is XP part three in our previous video. It was about getting enough XP to get to it. What we're gonna do today is to get enough XP to get the elephant blueprint. So why don't we go ahead? But before, you know it's time for special effects. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, 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 yep. Well, those special effects were brought to you by. We have no sponsors. So, it's brought to you by just the pure joy of special effects. Alright, let's join the online island and let's check out exactly what it is that we need to do to get the elephant. And it looks like, or I know for a fact, I have been playing. Whoa, cool island, floaty float. I have been playing a little bit, but I have not opened the XP area. Nice rainbow art. Look at these toilets. Nice. Looks like we must have saw this person before because we gave them a like. So we still like you. Let's check out the XP. So we got a badge for liking plots. And now, we get the Golden Flamingo. Boom. Golden Flamingo, you're so golden. Your legs are very golden. And they look like sticks. In order to get to the elephant, we need 3,510 XP. So why don't we go ahead, we solve nine more puzzles. That'll bring us to unlocking these emotes. Puzzles, here we go. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Gonna play some puzzles, coding puzzles. Gonna move my man where he needs to go. So what we're doing here, if you haven't played this before, is basically each one of these little blue blocks has the directions or the instructions or the commands and that tells our character exactly what to do. So we move forward, move forward, move forward, turn, move forward, move forward. And then that's gonna get us to the pink box. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bing, bing, boom. And then that's going to earn us some tickets. Now what we can't do is play this a little faster. Alright, alright, alright. We're on a roll. We're finishing some XP challenges. Collect it. We just collected it. And now we got heart emojis. Ice cream emoji. Now, you could say it looks like a uh, unicorn poop horn, an ice cream cone, whatever way you want to imagine it. I could go both ways. Oh, we got a thinking dude, and we got somebody that has a stomach bug of some sort. Careful what you eat. Be careful who you buy your pizza from. I don't want tummy trouble. And this guy looks like he just got out of cartoon prison. Hey, man. You alright? No reaction. But try a new emoji somewhere else. Hmm. Super fountain. Colorful. Liquid. Nice. Kinda looks like there's like eyes and you're running through his mouth. It's like, ah, come through. And I did. Now I'm on the other side. And I'll go back to the other side of the side. Hey. Hey, little ketchup. You want to see my new emotes? See them? Aren't they cool? Yeah? I'm not getting too much praise for my new emotes. I'll find the right place and the right time to use them. It's a lot of dirt. Whoa. Maybe this is where the guy escaped from the... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad he got out. Hope it was good behavior and not, you know, breaking blocks when you shouldn't be breaking blocks. So we got our emotes. Happy dappy dippy do. Let's go ahead and check out our XP again and see how many we need for the next reward. Looks like we need 220 to get to new blinky blocks. Blinky blocks, 
When your eyes wanna rest, I won't let you with my blinky block. So we could unlock blueprints, we could solve 20 puzzles, we could play Disco Drop 3 times, we could play Food Frenzy 10 times. Let's do some Disco Drop. There's no time like the present to just start earning XP. Now I've played this game before. Sometimes I do well, sometimes I don't. Looks like I do not have a good high score for this one. Square vibes. And the tape, as you can see, repairs the crack, which is nice. Do 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 do. Dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing for the next man that I'm dancing. Look at me dance, pick him up, here we go. It's the record. Nice, nice. Now, I can just show you what happens if I land on the tape square. Ouch. Now the tape goes away, now what happens now? Nice. Game ends. I got high score 232. Yeah, we're gonna play again. Now, I don't recommend this, but it does look like if you land on the gray squares, and it counts as a finished game. I feel conflict, but part of me is just like, let's, let's do the best we can, and part of me is like, let's earn the XP the fast we can. Or maybe if I just... Oops. Yeah. Let's see what happens this game. Maybe... Maybe I'll try to do better, but maybe. Maybe them gray squares be calling me, saying drop on me. It's hard to say no. It'll be hard to say no to the gray squares sometimes. We got some XP. So we still have 190 to get. Could play Disco Drop 7 more times for 70. Play Food Frenzy for a hundred. Man, the further you go, the more you challenges, challenges. How about build blueprints? We need to build six more. Can we get 350? Then we'll get them cool blinky blocks. Let's do it. We will make a blueprint palooza. New plot to go with our old plots. And then our new plots will become old plots one day. But we'll still love them all the same. So we gotta name this plot, and this plot's gonna be named... That's... Too... Many... Buildings. Oh, we ran out of letters. How about we just name it Too Many Buildings? Too... Why did I, I didn't even write many? I wrote many. Too many buildings. Took a lot of effort, but we got here. Alrighty. So, we're just gonna go ahead and use blueprints that we already have. We got some coins to do auto build. It's probably better things for me to spend my coins on, but you know what? Getting this XP is very, very important. Quick build, boom. Now we could just build the same building. See how many of these we can fit side by side. Side by side. Let's auto build. Boom, boom. Cool, that's two. Let's see if we have room for one more in here. Oh, definitely, definitely. Side by side. Nice. Uh, and honestly, I forgot how many uh, we were supposed to build. So let's check that real quick. We need to build three more. Easy. 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 Alright, let's put some pink ones. Now, I see a lot of people build things on top. I'm not sure if people are doing that on accident, or they like the way it looks, but it is a very popular move. Just build them right in front of each other, like... Walk out, 
and then you just walk right into your neighbor's house. Alright, alright. This will finish itself. So nice. Now we got blinky blocks. And we only have 70 more XP to earn until we get beanbag chairs. So what should we do? We do 20 puzzles. We're getting pretty close to the elephant. Like, I don't think we have too, too much more to do. We can unlock 8 blueprint. Let's go ahead and put some blinky blocks on here and check those out. These things look cool. Now a lot of times when I go to the island, I see blinky blocks everywhere. I look to the left, blinky blocks. I look to the right, blinky blocks. People love the blinky blocks. I love the blinky blocks. Now we got new blinky blocks. So now when we look up and down, we might see blinky blocks. All right. I'm just gonna... I'm writing the word blink. It's like a celebration. Sweet, we got the blink. We got the blink with our XP. Now why don't we we'll build an ode to the XP? We got blinky blocks with the XP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if this works. Not guaranteeing it will. But I'm also not guaranteeing that it won't. Alright, alright. That's not too bad. Like it. Alright. You know what? I like toilets. I'll go ahead and just put a toilet here. So let's go ahead and join the island. Show off these new blinky blocks that we got today. Very colorful ones. I know when you first open the app, it comes up, I believe it's with like a purple, bluish blinky block, but now we got a whole posse of blocks, of blinks. And for some reason, we only used one color. I'm not sure why we did that, but that's what we did. Let's check out the XP again. Build blueprints. Build 10 blueprints. It seems like a lot, but I think we can do it. Let's do it. Cool. So this one's too many buildings. We might as well just keep it going here. We gotta build 10 blueprints. On this. Boom, 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 boom. Sweet. All right. Now, well maybe we do start layering some buildings on top. All right, we did it. We did it. We got gold. I don't think I realized that we we're earning gold. Sweet. Now we got beanbag chairs and new emojis. You can't have too many emojis. You know, like you never know what you need to say, when you need to say it, what somebody's gonna say. You, know, you just need a cool emoji out your pocket. If you don't have the one you need, it could be it could be an awkward social situation. So, yay emojis. We are very close. We are 210 away from getting the elephant. But I do feel like since we just got the beanbag chair, we do need to place it in our world. Let's see what happens. I'll place this in here. Can you place more than... Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Beanbag chair, beanbag chair. 
Oh, it's like making stairs. Check that out. That's awesome. Beanbag chair. Stair. Who knew? Who knew? I did not know. Beanbag chair. Rainbow. Come sit on my rainbow. It's like a blinky block observatory. Oh, look at those blinky blocks. While well, I'm standing on blinky blocks. It's like a blinky block on the blinky block in front of the blinky block. There's a lot of blinky blocks. Let's keep it safe. Put some railings. Boom. Keep it safe. See? Can't, can't go. Can't. I'm gonna fall off. Unless I go like, whoop. But, I'm pretty good at landing. Alright, so let's go back to the join the island. Figure out what's going to be our last set of challenges we're going to complete. So that we will unlock the elephant. So we could solve 20 puzzles like 29 plots. I think our best bet at this moment will be... I think solving puzzles, playing food frenzy. So let's solve 20 puzzles. We don't put this in fast forward mode, but we're about to do some major puzzle solving. So we should have some badges to claim. We do. Silver for puzzle solved. We made it through 20 puzzles. What? We need 10 more XP. It's so close. It's so close, but we didn't make it. Yeah, I should have used the calculator. My math skills weren't up to par. Man, oh man. What do you say? Let's play Bowling Blitz three times. All right. Maybe somebody will join us to play. We will get our bowl on. I'm not sure how heavy the Cubert bowling balls are, but I would say if uh, I had a choice, I'd just need like a, a very light six or maybe seven pounds tops. I'm not playing with anybody, but if we were, we would all be switching lanes and probably be bumping into each other. And one key aspect of the game is to hit the bumpers as much as possible, unlike real life. Unless you just like hitting the bumpers. Because that gives you points. Now, I think it would be pretty fantastic if real bowling alleys could let you hit the bumpers for points. It would make it a lot more exciting. Uh, how you doing? Ever seal? Did you were just playing some bowling? I can take some time out of my game. Just say, hey, how you doing? Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. I'm just gonna keep on bowling. See how many points we can get. And then we're gonna have to play two more times. Show me hearts. I barely know ya. I'm not sure it's love quite yet. Do ba do do. And maybe they're just saying they love me. Maybe not everything's about me. Fair enough. 
fair enough. Keep on bowling. We're gonna go in fast forward mode to, to knock out these next two games. I know we can now claim the elephant blueprint. So let's claim that now. Welcome the elephant into our inventory. Hopefully it's not too heavy. Hopefully it won't bump things around. So let's get out of the online island and let's create a new plot now. As you guys know, we like to make creative names for our plots. And since this one's about an elephant, we're going to go with Elephant. Bam. Bam. No doubting what we're going to do on this plot. Checking out the elephant. We're going to check out the elephant. 467 blocks. Which direction do we want our elephant to be? Where do we want it? We should definitely walk around, check it out. We can do the quick build. I think, yes, we can. Sweet! Check out the elephant! It's so tall! Here at the elephant plot. The ele- oh! It's got ladders! Hmm, go see where these go to. Well, that's nice. I forget what color our beanbag chair is that we unlocked, but I guess we now have access to a different color beanbag chair. Let's check that out. Furniture, yes! Check it out. New beanbag chair. Check out this cool table. There's a peanut on the wall. There's a peanut table shape. That's pretty sweet. And I guess if you want to ponder, whoops, didn't mean to place it. If you want to ponder the life of an elephant, you can sit here and just look at the peanut. You know, should I eat the peanut? Should I not eat the peanut? Do I crack the peanut? Do I just look at the peanut? Do I give the peanut away? So many things you can do with a peanut, but what are we gonna do today? Let's go take a walk around our elephant and maybe we can figure out something to build. Elephant. Now, right, so we look at this elephant. What should we do with the elephant? What could we do with the elephant? Hmm. Ponder. Think. What could we do? What we should do is we should make him squirt in water like elephants like to do. But then he's going to squirt it up in the air. It's going to come around. It's going to make a wave. He's going to have a surfboard. And he's going to be this amazing surfboarding elephant. Because I'm sure if you brought your elephant to a beach after you purchased an elephant, you know. I would recommend getting your elephant, you know, from a rescue shelter. And you bring it to the beach and it's gonna be like, hey man, I would love to go, I'd love to go surfing. What we'll do is, in order to make it have water, we will raise up where we're gonna put the elephant. So we say, hey elephant, you're gonna stand over here. So I'm just trying to build a basic platform that might be big enough for it to allow us to sit him there. And then we can always delete these blocks. But, you know, placing the elephant up, and then the wave will come under said elephant. So, let's see. Let's 
might not be the easiest thing to do in the world. Come on, elephant. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them to be a little bit forward. Alright, that's perfect. So let's accept that. Bada boom. Bada bada bang. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need these blocks that make up the elephant. Let's see. And we need his trunk to be facing forward and up so that he can be squirting water. So let's just see if we can get it to point up and look good. Not looking too shabby. Now, the first thing our elephant's gonna need is a surfboard. Well, that's kind of the second thing. I feel like the first thing he needs is a swimsuit. Let's go ahead and first we'll give him a surfboard. I feel like a nice bright yellowy surfboard is where it's at. Uh, an elephant's gonna need a pretty big surfboard, but we're not gonna worry too much about the effects of what gravity would do. Let's see if we can just get a an interesting shape for these in the middle. And then we'll slowly kind of work it to where it looks like it has somewhat of a point. And that's working out pretty well. Boop, 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 boop. Sweet. Now, we could let's make it fancy. Let's see if we can make it have like some stripes. It looks alright. I don't know, it kind of looked like it might be a shadow, but you know what? It's fine. Now it looks like we're gonna have to shorten his legs because I started to build this even with his toes. He might look a little squatty, but you know, things sometimes shrink. Nobody should be climbing up an elephant. Molly surfing. It's definitely a recipe for disaster. So the back of the surfboard, maybe that can go to a point too. Or it could have one of those like V back shapes. Oops. Let's see what looks the best. Let's go with this. Let's just go with this. Nothing's got to be perfect. We're just having fun. We're just placing blocks. General shape in there. Clipping the elephant's toes. What do you think, elephant? Would you like a bathing suit? Yes, I would like a bathing suit. Thanks for asking. Hey, hey, no problem, elephant. His tail definitely needs to stick out. Now we still want people to be able to go inside our elephant so we can leave a, leave a bigger hole. And then we'll just bring down his left leg. Alright, alright. We're just continuing here to finish out this elephant. Swim trunks. Swim trunks. Nice. Pun intended. There you go. Maybe that was working in our deep recesses of our brains and that's how we came up with this idea. Who knows where ideas go from. I'm squirting water out. It's going to be going up and back. So let's just get a general shape in here. We can always get rid of what we don't think is working. The goal will be it flies in the air. And with the elephant's magic powers, he makes it come back around and support his surfboard. It might look a little strange, but... I'm not gonna let it get us down. Keep moving, file one. Well, it's looking alright. We just gotta keep curling it back. And then it'll swoop around and... Gotta kind of start widening out the spray so that So 
we're just gonna keep widening it out a bit. I think we're doing all right. It's pretty good. Maybe we should start to work from the bottom. Now, if you're wondering what to do with your elephant, there's many ways you can get ideas. You can look in books, you can look at the world around you and just think, where could I stick an elephant? Maybe he's doing something silly like buying a hot dog from a hot dog man. You can do whatever you want. It's your elephant. One thing you can do for ideas, since it's similar, is you can look at different builds that Lego has. There's that show called lego masters and they build cool things you can always get inspiration from lego creations or other voxel building apps and see what other people build and get inspired all right just need to keep making a wider wave It's looking all right. How's it going, elephant? Alright, elephant. Looking pretty good. And then we'll go a little bit from water to beach. Cool, cool, cool. Might as well just keep coming out. All right, then we'll just slowly slope it back down. And then... All right, all right, I think we're getting somewhere. In the blueprint store, there's a swimming pool blueprint that comes with some cool beach chairs. So let's do it. Let's go to the blueprint store. I'm not sure if I got enough coins to to purchase it. 240. Do have enough coins. Fantastic. Oh, cool. And it has beach umbrellas. Great. Just purchase that. Somewhere. Let's see. Chairs. Oh, outdoor. There we go. Oh, nice. An umbrella. Yeah. There's a lifeguard stand, and I think it comes with a, a person, a lifeguard. So where should we put that one? It's gonna go right there. Just watching out for the oh yeah. It looks like they're gonna have a good time. We can put a couple of lounge chairs. Umbrella. Fantastic. Alright, alright. We're looking pretty good. Alright. Elephant's looking pretty good here. Mr. Surf Elephant. Nice job, man. The elephant has stayed on the board the entire time. I mean, that's... 
That's what you call talent. No doubt about it. We're just gonna fill up this. Alright. It's starting to look pretty good. Because what we really should do is do this. Boom. Yes. We do want to join the online island. We're going to see if we can get one like. Maybe one like. Let's see what everybody's doing. Like Pike. Like Pike's got a crown. The king of bowling is like Pike. Where'd they go? Let's go tell them hi. Like Pike. Oh, man. I hope the elephant didn't eat her. Be a bummer. Elephant, behave. Behave yourself. Don't eat friends. Whoa, check this out. A giant halo. Floor above this tall building. Cool. Let's go right through it. Oh, yeah. I'm up on the land. On an island above. An island connected by grass stairs. Pretty cool. Let's go see what's over here. Whoa. Nice garden. Stay foam! Stay foam gave us a like. You stay foam. We like you foam. Whoa. It's like a secret flock. Whoa. Nice. Golden flamingos. Good job unlocking the golden flamingos. Let's, let's return the favor. Well, this is like Pike. Person we thought disappeared. Let's find Stay Foam's plot and say we like it. And thank you for liking our plot. Nice. Like Pike. Thank you, Like Pike. What's this? This looks like some little game. Let's check it out. We need bowling balls. Sure, fifty of them. I think there were some bowling pins in there earlier. Somebody must have knocked them down. Eliza. Nice. Log cabin. Didn't mean to hit your sign with a bowling ball. Side effect of likes. Eliza's hanging out. Hanging out in her living area. Let's welcome her to the world. Hey! How you doing, Eliza? It's good to see you. Do you like burgers? No? Okay. I think that went well. Well, let's go back to our board. And see how many likes we got. I feel like we got a few. It's pretty successful. We earned the elephant. Check her out in the world on the island. Got three likes. You know what? It doesn't hurt to like yourself. You can't like others until you like yourself. So my great grandmother used to always say. Add in the other phrase I said earlier, I don't remember. Hey, like Pike. It's a cool little uh, pink diving board. Well, this was a fun activity. We earned the blueprint. We made a build. So thanks for joining us. Keep an eye out for our next video. If you want to be alerted, make sure you join. And if you like this video, give it a like. And if you kind of liked it, give it a like. And if you liked it only a teeny tiny bit, give it a like. And we'll see you in the next video. Laters.